The Central Park Conservancy, along with its partners at Yale School of Environment and the Natural Areas Conservancy, they've launched the Central Park Climate Lab. We want to understand how climate change is affecting the park, uh, how it's adapting to climate change. Uh, we also want to understand how the park uh, is part of the solution. How much carbon does the park sequester? Um, how much cooling relief does the park offer to both people who come to the park, but also residents around the park? One of the uh, projects that we're beginning to work on is installing some temperature sensors and tools to measure incremental growth in trees so that we can get some data and have a baseline to be able to measure off of and eventually get to the point where we can make some conclusions about how climate change is impacting the park. And there's plenty of data to collect. Just last September, Hurricane Ida hit the city with just over three inches of rain in one hour. That beat a record that was set just 10 days prior. As we see more extreme weather events in the future, researchers say parks will be the key to solving the problem. Cities are going to be part, have to be part of the climate change solution. And one of the things that cities can do is use their green space, such as their parks, to help sequester carbon, uh, store carbon. Um, but also on the adaptation side, it's really clear that parks make are, are really important for providing cooling relief, for cleaning the air, um, for uh, uh, mitigating air pollution as well. And so some of the science that comes out of this project, we're hoping to inform policy in terms of how best to manage the assets here in the park.